Imainalla. Imainalla. Hamuichis. Hamuichis. Uh, in my native language, Quechua, Hamuichis means camp. Everybody. Hamuichis. Hamuichis. And uh, in my native language, say, how are you? Means, Imainalla. 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 Could you repeat with me? Imainalla. Imainalla. And then when you want to answer, you can say, Walehla. Walehla. Pachi, for coming here. Agradecida estoy. Aquí tengo mi compañero. Él es uh, americano guagua. Americano guagua. He is americano guagua, pero tiene mucho corazón de guagua boliviano. What oh. I said is just, he is American boy, but he has a good Bolivian heart. Americano guagua. Guagua in Quechua means child, children. Uh, could be boy and girl, it doesn't matter. That's guagua. 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 In Caribbean language, guagua means a bus, right? But in Quechua means children, child. Could be girl and boy. That's why he is an uh, Americano guagua. Mm -hmm. I'm introducing Americano guagua, Neil. Hi, everybody. How are you doing today? Uh, well, thank you. Uh, we're going to be reading to you a story, uh, an ancient Andean folk tale, uh, the story of the fox and the guinea pig, or El Cui y Atuc Antonio. See, we got our two protagonists here, uh, the guinea pig, El Cui, oh, we'll see that in a moment, uh, and Atuc Antonio, the fox. Cui is more of a, well, he's more of a, she, she's more of a trickster, she, she lives in the country, she has to uh, find her way, uh, get her own food, so she lives by her wits. Atuc Antonio is not foolish, he's not dumb, but he, he's, uh, he likes to go to the big city, and he thinks he's really special because of that, so he can be a bit buffoonish. The story of how he's called Atuk Antonio is a big one. Would you like to tell us why, the, why they're called Kui and Atuk, uh, the fox yes. and the guinea pig? Yes. Entonces, uh, Pachi Niel. Pachi in Quechua means thank you, Pachi. Thank you, Pachi. Uh, we're going to just uh, learn some words in Quechua that I would like to share with you my culture. It's an honor to be here to share my culture and my language. The stories that, are, that we learn in our uh, native community is just uh, orally. We don't have in books. And then our aunties, grandparents, and parents in the afternoon when the sunset, at the time of the sunset, everybody wants to be like you, sitting around waiting for mommy, for grandpa, grandma, say, what's the next story? What's the next story? Uh, which one? And then sometimes my, my grandparents, my grandma, they, she used to repeat it several times, the same story. Never was the same. Different, different. And that's why this is the story about these two characters, uh, que son el ato and el cui. And then, uh, vamos a ver qué significa este uh, el ato y el Okay. Okay. Kai kui. 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 That's the name that we used to give it. Ahnatalia. Ahnata suti chai ku kai. Kai kui. 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 In El Peru, they said kui. In Bolivia, uh, Peru, or uh, Ecuador could be kui, but most of the time in Bolivia is kui. Kui. Could you say kui? Kui. Kui. And do you know why do we call the name Kui? Sometimes in the, la in, in the Quechua language, especially most of the animals, they have the names according to the sounds that they emit. And then the Kui, he used to say quiz, quiz, quiz. That's the sound about this animal. That's why we name him Kui. It does make sense, you think? Quiz, quiz, quiz. Could you say quiz, quiz, quiz? Quiz, 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 something like that. He, he, she just, he, she walks around. Quiz, 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 making this noise. That's why we call him or her Kui, Kui, okay? And then El Ato, El Ato Antonio, El Ato Antonio, 
And ato, that's ato, ato, ato. We call ato, and then uh, it does make some, some noises also, the ato. What do you think that he, what type of noise he makes? Do you know? It's just a relative of wolf, like a, uh, ow, something like that. Ow, right? Ow, and then that's why we call ato. Here's ato. Could you say ato? Ato. Ato. El ato. And you guys remember that this Atuk is Atuk Antonio. And why Antonio? Uh, I told you he liked to go to the big city. He liked to make a name for himself. So he went to the city one time. And he decided he wanted a fancy city name like all the people in the city had. So he, he went back home and he told everyone, call me Antonio. It's my new city name. So they OK, Atuk Antonio. And he was very angry. But in, then from then on, he was known as Atuk Antonio. So you can see all the other animals, they have a little fun with Atuk Antonio. He's, uh, He's always taken down a peg or two. And normally, he, uh, he and Kui, they're friends. But uh, when times are tough, when one of them is hungry, when they get into a bind, they can get uh, a little antagonistic. They can start to vie against you know, each other. And Kui always sort of comes up on top because she's, she's smaller, but she's cleverer. Well, uh, también uh, nosotros llamamos a los, the children guagua. Could be one. Guaguas, more than one, that's the plural. You are wawas, okay? You are wawa, 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 okay? How do we call now the grown-ups? How do we call, like uh, me or mom here? Everyone, after 23 years old and up, we are the mom of the community. And the gentlemen are the dad of the community. Even though if they don't have children, they've been called like a mama. You are a mama, 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 he is a tata, Mama, mama, she's a mama, tata, mama. That's why my name is Mama Julia. How do I call? Mama Julia. Suti, Mama Julia. Suti means my name. Suti, Mama Julia. And then also, how do we call the young girl? The young girl we call Sipas. And the young boy we call Waina. See? Wawa, Sipas, Waina. Wawa, Sipas, Waina. Now, kunanga wahyasun is si pasta, why nata? We're gonna call now. Mm -hmm. uh, if we could see, we got uh, playing kui, uh, si pas. That's a si pas, kui. Say quiz, quiz, quiz. That's a si pas kui, si pas kui. Say it, si pas kui. That's Sipas Kui. That's Sipas. That's a young, young girl, young Kui. And now we have Atuk Antonio. Who is coming there now? Atu. Say it, Atu. That's Atu Antonio. That's Atu. That's a Atu. Muy bien. Muy bien. Entonces, bueno, comenzamos en este cuento. Now we're going to start the story, the story of El Kui y Atuk Antonio. But before, I would like also to share first, I have some gifts for you guys. But this gift represents something in our culture. The gift, the day, the first day of your life, you receive as a gift, a lucky charm. Do you, have a, do you know about the lucky charm? Do you have a lucky charm? Yes. That's we used to give the babies the first day a lucky charm, the mamas we used to give a lucky charm. And then this lucky charm comes from the rainforest. The name of this lucky charm is? Wairuru. The name is Wairuru. 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 The name of this seed is lucky, the lucky charm seed is Wairuru. Could you say it? Wairuru. Wairuru. And the Wairuru is a seed comes from a big tall tree in, from the rainforest. These seeds I picked last year from my country in Bolivia. Bolivia has also half of the land is rainforest, as well Peru and Ecuador. And then we used to pick this one during this, uh, spring or summer time and dry it, and then make as a bracelet. And then we don't eat, it's not for eating, just for decoration, in order to make earrings or just necklaces or just uh, bracelets, no? <laughs> yeah, and then, uh, has meaning also this one. See it is red and black. That's the duality in our philosophy, thinking in the Indian part. We think that everything is true. Mom and dad, girl and boy, day and night, 
That is our philosophy of living thing. Nothing is one, nothing is zero. It's always true up there, okay? That's why the lucky charm, the first day uh, that mom or uh, dad or aunties or grand grandma, they used to give it to you saying, good luck in your journey of this life, okay? And you're gonna receive some lucky charm of you guys, but you're gonna repeat Ari and Pachi. Could you say it, Ari? Ari. Pachi. Man, Ari means yes, Pachi means thank you. I'm going to ask you if you want to have it before starting the, the story, and then if you want it. Una kechu wa Come in. Kechu. See, I'm going to type here. It's going to be very fast. Patient mummies, please, for favor. Pachi. You say now thank you. How do you say? Pachi. Pachi, yay. Okay, perfecto, muy bien, Hami. Kaiwairuru sumasta, hachasonka. Mana ni mas. Las no hachu. Munan kichuwairuru ta? Ari? Ari Pachi. Ari Pachi. Oh, you have a lucky charm too. Ari Pachi. Kaiwairuru hachasonka sumasta. Causa naikita, ya? Pachi. Munan Kichu? Ari? 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 Pachi. Could you repeat Ari? Ari? Pachi. Hey, hey, Pachi. Muy bien. Taiwairuru sumakta halcha songha. Alguien can I get? Yeah? I have it. Please, could you take a more for me? No, quiere? Okay. Aquí? Pimona? Munan Kichu? Ari? Ari. Ari. Uh, Ari y Pachi. Ari, Pachi. Ari, Pachi. Alguien que no equipa. Mananí, manasón gachu. ¿Ya? Munanqui chu. Ari, Munanqui. Alguien que no equipa. Caiguairuru, Hachasón, Sumarta. Sumarta, causa no equipa. ¿Ya? Ni mamanta. Munanqui chu. Ari, Pachi. Ari Pachi, Raimona, Buena, Sumas Kanaguipa, ¿ya? Munan Kichu, Munan Kichu, Ari, Ari, Hamia, Hamia, Hamia. Ok, Sumas Hachasun, Rakai Wairuru, Sumas Kanaguipa, Mananimas, Anta Hachasun, Gachu, ¿ya? Munan Kichu, Ari, Hamia. Hinamanta alinta halcha son a kawairuru alinkanki. Pira gipsu ma kausa na ekipa, ya? Munan kichu? Ari. Ari munani. Ari munani. Okay. No, it's okay. It's just. Suma halcha son a kawairuru vida ekita. Kosa kana ekipa, ya? Bueno, mi mamanta. Alguien más? Mana? Hamuna, hami, hami, hami. Hami. Munan Kichu, Ari? Pachi? Okay. Bueno. Ya, muy bien. Hinamanta, Miss Chris. I think it's okay. Si alguien más quiere, pues al final les vamos a dar. At the end of the story, you're going to receive if you want it, mommy or that, please, at the end of the story, okay? Muy bien, vamos a ir ahora, antes de que los niños se estén muy cansados, con un gallarizo, que obitaban, atujmantaban, y me nacho por ir en cuchayta, ¿eh? All right, you all ready for the story? Ari. 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 All right, there once was a guinea pig, el cuy, who lived with her mother and her sisters. Ucutimari casca, ujoi mamangua, ñañas niño antiaco casca. She would wander all around her home, looking for food. Her mother would warn her not to wander too far, but the guinea pig didn't care. She didn't care, even though the nearby there was always the fox, Atuk Antonio. Chantachainekta atuja mancha y piñasca puri casca, chainista goita mas aspa. 
Still, every day when she left home, her mother would warn her not to stray too far, and she would give her the family good luck charm to keep her safe in times of trouble, as long as she was good and kind. In a month of Papa Gary Lorsikting, Mama and Chura cast from a kingman, Kachituta Wairuruta, Paita Nikasra, Hamik Churas Haiki, Alin and Kanaikipa, Sumak Purinaikipa, Ama Milaikunas Katina Sumpa Nikasra, Chairaiko Paira, Mamantanin, Kachituma my Pachining. Meanwhile, I took Antonio the fox, traipsed around, searching hungrily for the guinea pig. Many times he had tried to eat her in the past, but she'd always tricked him. He was hungry and he was sick of looking like a fool. Chay kamata chay nekta atu hantunyo ga puri kachak asha pinya yar kashata chay goi ta tarisa chay ga mikunai puni tian ispa puri kasha nekta kasha mana mikusa chay ga mana no ga chukasha mana mikusa chay mana no ga chukasha. Once, Kui offered him honey instead of her, but then he got stung by all the angry bees. Once, Kui offered him a wheel of cheese down a well, but then she pushed him down the well. Another time, she broke his head on a pot of lard. Ouch. What must Kui have thought of in them? He couldn't be made to look so silly, so he swore that next time he swore that he would eat Kui right away. He looked for Kui all over. Through the mountains and the hills, by the rivers and the forests, finally he spotted Kui digging into a hole looking for carrots. Kui was so busy looking for the carrots that she didn't notice Atuk Antonio sneaking up behind her. He shouted one big aha, grabbing for Kui as she shouted in surprise. Stop, my good friend Atuk Antonio, said Kui. Thinking quickly, Kui told Atuk Antonio that he couldn't waste time eating little old her when there was a tremendous rain of fire coming. Atuk Antonio was surprised. What, what rain of fire? Kui acted shocked that he hadn't heard about the big rain of fire that was coming to burn everyone. It was pretty big news after all. The fox was really worried. He didn't want to be burned by the rain of fire, and Kui told him that the rain was going to come down right away. It wasn't fair. Kui already had a hole to hide in, but he couldn't hide anywhere. He was very sad. Kui told him not to worry. She offered to dig a hole for him. So she and Atuk Antonio started digging. The fox hopped into the hole in a hurry, very scared of the rain of fire. As, as soon as he was in, Kui covered him up with dirt. She piled more and more dirt on him until only his hand was out of the hole. Kui told Atuk Antonio to not come out until he felt the rain of fire stop. 
But then, Kui covered up the hole with thorns and pointy sticks. She had tricked Dr. Gatonio again. She shouted as she ran away, Look out, the rain of fire is starting. The fox was worried. He stuck out his hand and he felt around to see. He stuck out his hand and he pricked himself on the spiky thorns and sticks. Ouch! It hurt! It was raining fire outside, just like Kui said. Uh, Atuk Antonio sat there in the hole and he waited. He was getting hungry and he was sick of the hole. He, it surely wasn't raining fire outside still. He reached his hand out again, but he pricked himself again. It was still raining fire. He waited, and he waited, and he got hungrier and hungrier. It was getting ridiculous. He was so hungry now. He was thirsty, too. He was starving. He wanted to get out, so one more time, he stuck his hand out very carefully. He felt, and he realized that that pointy feeling outside the hole wasn't a rain of fire. It was pointy sticks and thorns. Kui had tricked him again. Covered with dirt. He couldn't get out. He wailed and moaned. He should have eaten Kui before he got into the hole. Then he wouldn't be so hungry. He was very hungry. He was very thirsty. He was very scared. He didn't think he was ever going to get out of the hole. Atuk Antonio started to cry. What was he going to do? But then the dirt started to clear. Kui had come back. She dug Atuk Antonio out of the hole, and she showed him all of the carrots and tasty treats she had dug up while he was busy with the rain of fire. She said that if he was hungry, she would be willing to share. He couldn't eat her now. Atuk Antonio sheepishly apologized. And now, dancing. And then since that time that Ato Antonio and Koi, they never been just enemies. They are not enemies, they are friends. But the circumstances, see when they need it, when they, one of them, they are hungry, they are just start fighting. But most of the time, living in the same environment, they are friends, always. Y ellos terminan bailando, entonces paiguna tu kungu, tu suspa, that's a tinku, a rhythm of tinku that means encounter. And then I would like to invite the, the children to dance this dance with Ato and Kui, this Wainito and then dance. Would you like, guys? Munanki Chishchu? Ari? Ari? Yes. Yes. Here we go. Let's see. Anyone want to try it on the skirt? You can try the skirt. Here we go. Ooh. Yep, here we are.
Círculo, círculo, círculo. Círculo. Hold it there, hand. Oh, yeah, entra al medio, pues. Entra al medio, ahora que hay adelante. Entra al medio, con el ato. Los dos solos, sí, para que entonces... Ok, ato es tuyo. Ok, vamos. <laughs> 